Hi, this is Jason with Platinum Tools. Today we're going to go over the Net Chaser. The Net Chaser is an Ethernet speed certification tester and network tester. Let's get a closer look. You'll see here it's a three and a half inch color touch screen. We have a cable test mode, link test mode, network settings, system settings, and then your file management. Um, let's go ahead and select the cable test mode. Select this icon here to do a specific cable setting. Go back and then we can select a specific type of cable. So here we are going to do a Cat5e shielded and select it. And then we're going to run the test. So we'll hit the green button here. And you'll see it run through all the tests. Here it's showing we have a link. And now it's showing we have a pass result on the far end. Okay here, so now we can see we have a pass. So here we have the green check mark for one gigabit also. You see your full wire map over here. You have your length test, so you get the length on each pair. You get your skew and signal noise ratio. If there was a failure, one of those they, they would highlight in red. Then you have your bit errors and we have zero. And your numbered ID and total length of cable. You can expand the view of the screen here. So you see your, your cable and Pico fans for length measurement. Then if when you want to save test results, you can select either the PDF or CSV. You can save them in either format. And then if you want to see a list of all the cables you've run, just go to the list there and you can see them all. And we can go back home. Okay, now to go over the link test function, select link test. And here we have port discovery. This will give you your speed of your connection and all the, the settings there. You also get signal noise ratio test on each one of your pairs down below here. And then it also identifies that there is PoE plus present. Again, these tests are also, you're able to save them. So hit the PDF button and you can save it there. So now we're gonna go down to the PoE test. Select PoE. Now we see that it's in mode A. You see that the PoE is detected on pins one and two and three and six. You get the type, the wattage, and the min-max voltages. It's a great test, and again, you can select PDF there to save that to cable test. And one more function you have is the link light feature here. This is where you can select this here, and it will illuminate the LED light on the switch at the far end so you'll know which port it's plugged into. It's a great feature. Um, okay, now let's go into the network test function here. Here, uh, it's connecting, uh, running your DHCP. So it's attempting the DHCP now. All right, now we can we have a link, we're connected, and here you'll see you get your IPv4 address, MAC address, gateway, subnet mask, server, uh, and so on. And here we're, we can go in and select ping testing. I won't go through and ping all these, but you can add multiple targets here. And you can ping up to eight different locations simultaneously. Then we have down here in the bottom corner is trace route. We can run a trace route. And you can, you can save all these test results. You can go into do a CDP or a LLDP, Cisco Discovery Protocol, or Link Layer Discovery Protocol. And you'll get your device ID, port ID, VLANs, IP address. And again, you can save those test results there. Okay, so let's go over some of the optional accessories for your net chaser. One would be the RJ45 to alligator clip, eight-way alligator clip. This is great for testing unterminated network cables. Then we have one foot uh, Cat5e shielded patch cables. These are great for you know using connecting with your remote and main unit when you want to plug into wall plates or patch panels. Um, then we have a network accessory kit that kind of has all these patch cables in here. Also a port saver that helps extend the life of your uh, RJ45s in your main unit and remote. We highly encourage you to use those. And then some barrel adapters and stuff for, for coax testing. Then we have a 1 through 20 uh, coax remotes. These are for identification only. So if you want to test out um, and locate uh, unlabeled uh, coax lines, these are great. Um, and then again for RJ45 1 through 20 um, ID only for uh, plugging into wall plates or patch panels, uh, helping to locate those cables. Then we have a, a more RJ45 uh, cable remotes here, 1 through 8. These will test it, do a cable verification test to make sure the termination on both ends are correct. For any more 
questions or, or information, please contact uh, Platinum Tools. Thank Hi, this is Jason with Platinum Tools. Today I want to go over a common question we get, which is how to trace unlabeled Ethernet cables on a live network. Typically technicians would use two methods. One being using a tone generator and a tone probe, like our TP150 here, or using cable remotes, like here, but the only problem with that is that with a closed circuit and voltage on the line, you can't use either one of these methods. I'm going to show you a different method today.